All right, so today's the evening of day 65 on these two little red tail catfish. I've been taking videos every single day ever since I got them 65 days ago. And when I got them, they were about two weeks old. So they're 65 days plus two weeks. And we've been having some problems with these guys. If you watch my last video, one of them I think is starting to get some kind of a swim bladder problem. So the dark one right there, he was <clears throat> he's kind of doing a tail stand, which is unfortunate. <clears throat> Boy. <clears throat> Got a catfish in my throat. <laughs> so, at first I thought it was an a overeating problem. Uh, I know if you, uh, if you overfeed these guys, they can have a problem. They, you can actually kill them if you, if you overfeed them. And one day, this guy right down here, he overate, got really super bloated. And then after that, it was like three days after that, he hardly ate anything at all. And then yesterday, I actually saw him standing on top of the filter. He's like doing a tail stand. So I've been kind of keeping an eye on him. He look, he's looked like he's doing pretty good. And last time I fed him, he ate a little bit, which is good. I ordered some Melafix on Amazon. Should be here in a few days. Uh, I was thinking about going down to town to get some, but I think he's doing okay. And then I was reading about the, the whole swim bladder thing and kind of the buoyancy. And it sounds like if, if you feed him food that's too fatty, that uh, they can have that problem too. So I'm thinking maybe it's the beef liver. I've been feeding them beef liver at least once a day. So I'm going to try to stay away from beef liver for a while. Maybe just do it as an occasional treat. Today I'm doing tilapia. Maybe it's the beef liver. I don't know. Maybe a combination of the beef liver and overeating that one time. But we definitely don't want to have problems. Don't want to have the veterinarian out here working on my fish, which would be crazy. All right, so I'm going to take this camera, put it in an underwater housing, and give you some underwater video. So today is day 66, raising up these two little red tail catfish. See how big they are today. So I was actually thinking of kind of spinning off another video, uh, the first hundred days, and do like a like just a few seconds per day once we get to a hundred, which would be pretty cool. So let's take a look at these guys today. I think I got one hanging on to the filter. <laughs> All right. So, let's see where we're at today. So, someone saw one of my previous videos where I thought one of these fish were sick. And 
They said they had a fish too that kind of did the same thing where it was doing a, like a tail stand and they thought it was normal, but I'm not too sure about that. Uh, it could be, I guess uh, it could just be a, something that the catfish do kind of do in a tail stand when they get comfortable. But it seems like on that one, he stopped eating too at the same time. Kind of got bloated and stopped eating for a few days. Seems like he's back on the recovery now though. So I haven't treated the water at all, but they don't look like they have any problems. So, all right. So I think I'm just gonna stay away from the, the beef liver for a bit. And go with everything else. So today we are feeding cod, wild caught cod that I bought at the grocery store. All right, so I'm gonna take this camera, put it in underwater housing, and give you some underwater video.